Hey everyone, Scottish Warren Nature 2 here with another, the second video in the 7 days, 7 video series. And uh, this is a video request, as I said, all these videos will be video requests, and this is requested by Leon MD1975, who wanted me to discuss what I would like to see in Dragon Age 3. I did do a video on this a while back, but it wasn't as much detailed as I would like to have been, so I will do this again. But this is going to be a lot more in-depth. I'm going to discuss Dragon Age 2 DLC and what I would like to see in Dragon Age 3. So, firstly I'll start with the DLC. Um, as I said, we've already had two, well, three, three DLCs, two story-based DLCs, and I haven't played both of them. I've only played the Legacy, which I really wanted to play, and it really was a good DLC. The Mark of the Assassin, I have seen a playthrough of it. Um, I, I can only say it looked quite interesting. It, it looked very reminiscent of the Kasumi mission from uh, uh, Mass Effect 2. But I don't want to judge it until I've played it, and I will not play it for quite some time. So as for DLCs, what I would like to see for Dragon Age 2, it's very difficult to say. Now, in my opinion, I think that the next major DLC for Dragon Age 2 will actually be what happens next. And this will probably close up the ending of the dra of Dragon Age 2, because the ending of Dragon Age 2, I'll have to admit, was fucking shit. I didn't like it, 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 left, a it left one hell of a mega cliffhanger, and it didn't close up a lot of things, it left quite a lot of plot holes in my opinion. But overall, it, it was a good game, I will give it that. What I would like to see is possibly um, the return of Hawk, and also the hero of Ferelden, your character from Dragon Age Origins. I really would like to see that character brought back and given a voice or something, but I really would also like to see a lot of the party members from Dragon Age Origins come back. In Dragon Age 2, we get a couple of glimpses of a few of them. Liliana, Alistair, and Nathaniel from Awakening, and of course Anders, but... Uh, but we never really get any of them in our party members. From the original Dragon Age Origins, not... Dragon Age Awakening, but even though I would like to see some characters from Dragon Age Awakening return, because in my opinion, your import from Dragon Age Origins really doesn't do much in Dragon Age 2. Sure, it changes a couple of wee side missions, one or two wee missions you might get, but overall, it doesn't have as big an impact as in Mass Effect, in my opinion. I would like to have had a bit more impact, in my opinion. And I really hope that the next DLC for Dragon Age 2 does that. And adds to the story, and finally closes all, closes a lot of a lot of uh, holes in the plot. In my honest opinion, I really would like to see that. There's a lot of things I would like to see in the DLC. I want to see what happens to Hawk, what happened to your team, where is um, Isabella, Meryl, your romance. I really would like to see what happened with your romance. My romance is Meryl, but I shagged. Uh, Isabella, so my ending was like, I romanced both of them somehow, I was like, okay, I'll go with both. <laughs> so it could be quite interesting to see what happens next with Hawk. And I really would like, now some people are saying, like, in the Mark of the Assassin, you go to all lays. I really think that will probably be where the next DLC might be based, or even Antiva. Uh, it could be quite interesting to see where that, where the next DLC will take us. I would like to get outside of Kirkwall, because Kirkwall, even though it is quite a big city, it, it was kind of restricting compared to the map in Dragon Age Origins. I would like to go other places. I would like to go even go back to Ferelden for a wee while. It would be quite interesting, because I'd like to see what happened after the Blight. Because even the, and also all the decisions I made from Dragon Age Origins. I would like for Hawk, my character, and my team, possibly, to go back to um, all the places that I've changed, all the places that my hero Ferelden had an impact in. What, I want to go to the Circle of Magi in Ferelden, I want to go with Orzammar, uh, the Dalish Elves, I want to see what happened with them, I want to see what happened in Denerim. Uh, all these places, even places from Awakening I would like to go back to and find out what happened there. How is that place like? How did my decisions affect that place? I really want to see that. And I'm hoping to do that in the next DLC, or even in Dragon Age 3, which I'll get to in a minute. I really would like to see that in the next DLC, and also expanding on your characters more. Because in my honest opinion, I didn't like a lot of the characters from Dragon Age 2. I loved the characters from Dragon Age Origins, even though I didn't like, g agree with a lot of their, their, their 
to use on life. I loved every single one. Everyone had a really great character. Well, Dragon Age 2, they were a bit bland in my opinion. Some of them were interesting, like Varric, Isabella, Meryl, they ones were interesting. And Bethany, I must admit, I like Bethany, I hate Carver. I can say that right now. Other characters were, all the other characters were kind of stereotypical ones, like uh, Fenris as the emo, Anders as the emo slash comedian, the comedy emo. Uh, Sebastian Vale, fucking him. I absolutely hate him. He's a clean old douchebag. Uh, what other ones is there? Um, I don't forget some. Aveline. Aveline, I must admit, is one of my favourite characters from Dragon Age 2. I really do like her. She's a strong woman, and of course, she's got to be Scottish with that red hair. <laughs> um, but I didn't get along with a lot of characters. I didn't like a lot of the characters in Dragon Age Origins. Also, one thing I want to state. Even though there were a lot of romances in Dragon Age 2, there were a bit too many romances, in my honest opinion. Now, I always romance Meryl or Isabella. But main reason, Meryl, I like her character. It's very, she's very interesting. And plus, the voice of her is done by the actress who does is in a TV series I love called Torchwood. Um, I love the series Torchwood. I love the actress. She's an amazing actress. And the voice just really adds something to the character, in my opinion. Isabella, because... Just fucking, why not Isabella? <laughs> Isabella's a very really interesting character, but as for like characters like Fenris and Anders, I never wanted to romance them. Even though they were bisexual, as a male hawk or female hawk, I didn't want to romance them. I didn't really connect with those characters. Even though I'd known Anders since Dragon Age Awakening, I much rather preferred him in Awakening than I did in, in Dragon Age 2. I don't know what it is, I just preferred him in Awakening. And I would like that if he'd stayed a little bit like, more like his character from there, not the... Fair enough, he's possessed by Justice. But I would have liked more Justice as well, I would have liked maybe Justice being his own character. I'm just... It's, it's difficult to say. The Anders character in Dragon Age 2 is good, but I didn't like him as much as I liked him in Dragon Age Awakening, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. I would have much rather preferred if Valena. I really like the Valena character from Dragon Age Awakening had come back in some way, shape, or form because no decision you made in Awakening comes even as even mentioned in Dragon Age 2 to my knowledge. So I would like that the DLC to clear up that. That's a lot to carry up, but I think Bioware could do it. So let's move on to Dragon Age 3 before I ramble on even more. <laughs> um, Dragon Age 3. The first thing I want to say is I would like the art style to change. Now, I know a lot of people out there are saying they love the art style of Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2. I prefer Dragon Age Origins art style. Somewhat, the main reason I like it is the elves. Now, I don't like the elves with the massive dildo ears. I'll, I'll say it right now. Those things are massive. Very obvious that they are elves. And understand that may be where we're going for. But in Dragon Age Origins, they were pointy and a little bit out, like, like that a wee bit, but they could be hidden by hair and they could look human if they wanted to blend into their environment, especially if you played as a rogue. I would like that art style back. Some, more, some of the art style in Dragon Age 2 I would like to stay, um, but mainly the elves, I would like them to change. I don't like the art style of the elves in Dragon Age 2. They are too cartoonish, in my opinion. Too cartoonish elf, in my opinion. I don't like the ears. I also don't like the way their faces are. They, they're kind of like, huh, very out there. Um, Meryl's an exception. She's fucking hot. Um, especially Zevran. Zevran's art style, if you did see him in Dragon Age 2, it's fucking ugly. It's fucking hideous. I don't like the way he looks. And I did romance him in one of my playthroughs, and I would have liked to have maybe carried on that romance in the next DLC or in Dragon Age 3, but... I honestly don't like the art style of the elves. It's hideous, in my opinion. I'm not. I just don't like it. If I'm going to be perfectly honest, it's too cartoonish, in my opinion. Some other things as well. They were very cartoonish, but I could give away with them. A lot of them were very understandable why they went that way. I love the art style of the characters anyway. I do love the outfits that a lot of the characters wear. As a Bella, very piratish. Meryl, I like her first one and her romance one. Very cool. Fenris. Black. He was black. Varric, very fell. No beard. Very cool. 
Now that's the one thing I would like to change in Dragon Age 3. I don't like the art style of the elves. I, I, I never have. I, when I first saw an elf in Dragon Age 2, I was like, what the fuck did they do to them? Ah, oh, Bioware! No, no! Ah, oh, I didn't like that. I honestly did not like the ears. I can say that right now. And I've got big ears. I know that. Don't lie, I can hide them. <laughs> um, now, as for like the gameplay of Dragon Age 3, what I would like to see is a much, as the gameplay from Dragon Age 2. I much prefer the gameplay from Dragon Age 2, in my opinion. I would like to see that enhanced a bit more, um, especially for the Rogue. The Rogue is really good in, that, in this, this playstyle. I would like, um, in my opinion, the Rogue is the best, best way to play Dragon Age 2. Especially with the gameplay, because I tend to like think on the fly. That's my kind of fighting style. It depends on how you do it, but the mage is also quite good. It just depends on what the way you want to play. I much rather prefer Dragon Age is Dra bleh, Dragon Age 2's gameplay. It's much more entertaining, in my opinion. It's much more fast-paced, action-oriented. You have to think constantly. I love that gameplay. So they should keep that for Dragon Age 2, uh, Dragon Age 3. Maybe advance it a bit more. Give it a bit more. In uh, variety, much more stealth play, because there are a lot of people out there who like to play stealth. I much more deal as much damage as I can and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> so, that, they nailed the gameplay in Dragon Age 2, so they don't really need to change much in Dragon Age 3. Now, the one thing I want to find out of all of the Dragon Age story, from Dragon Age Origins 2 and possibly in 3, is what the fuck happened to my hero of Ferelden's child? Now, if you didn't do, if you didn't do the ritual with Morrigan, you won't do this. You won't have it. I want to know what happened to the child. In my honest opinion, I, I fucking like. There's a lot of, a lot of things in Dragon Age Origins that I want to find out what the fuck happened. I would like it if a lot of your characters came back from Dragon Age Origins, because a lot of the characters from Dragon Age Origins blow the characters from Dragon Age Two out of the water. Um, mainly I want Ogryn, uh, Shale. Um, Morrigan, Liliana, Wynne, Severin, Alistair. Okay, I kind of want them all back. I want them all back in one way, shape, or form. But, I doubt they'll bring them all back. I would like to see some characters from Dragon Age 2 also return. Varric, Meryl, Isabella, Aveline. Those are the only four characters from Dragon Age 2 I want to come back. The rest of them can fuck off. I don't particularly like Anders. I don't hate him, but he's just... If you've played Awakening, I honestly prefer him in that. I don't want him back. I would, in some way, shape, I would like to see him come back, because he is going to be hunted by the Chantry, we know that. Uh, Fenris, I'm not too fussed if he comes back or not. Uh, Sebastian Vale can fuck off. I don't care. He can go to hell. Um, what other ones is there? I think that's all of them. Um, so I would, Bethany, your sister or your brother, I, I do sister, by the way. I much prefer sister. I fucking hate Carver. He's an absolute dick. Another thing I would like it if you could choose which sibling survives at the start of the game, because I fucking hate Carter, as you can probably tell. Um, I would like a lot of those characters to return, and the aftermath, because in Dragon Age 3, I can actually see it being set during a wartime thing, where it's mages and mage supporters versus the Chantry, and possibly actually not just be set in one part of the whole Dragon Age world, but be set in multiple parts. And um, they may keep the, the style of the acts, maybe, like Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, and they're done with Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2, or they may go back to the style of Dragon Age Origins, where you could basically do whatever the fuck you want. I would kind of like them to mix it a little bit, but in all honesty, I really could see it possibly being part of a... a an act system, like Act 1 you're in Ferelden, Act 2 you're in All A's, Act 3 you're in Kirkwall, Act 4 you're in Tevinter. Something along those lines. I really want to explore the world of, Dra of Dragon Age. I want to see the Tevinter Imperium. I want to see All A's. I want to... The way Liliana describes All A's, it sounds beautiful, and I want to see it. I want to see All A's. I want to see her hometown, I want to see the shoes, I want to see the, the makeup, I want to see the dresses, and I'm sounding like a, like a crossdresser, aren't I? <laughs> I want to see all that. I want to see how it differs from Ferelden and Kirkwall. I want to see the Tevinter Imperium. I want to see the Chantry and the Tevinter Imperium. I want to see 
how if you can change it to Vendor Premium, meet the Magisters, things like that. In Dragon Age 3, it's a lot I ask for, but I would like to see that. I would really love to see the rest of the world and that I want to go to I want to go and see the Canary. And they're, they they seem kinda of dull. But I understand with the Canary also have farmers, craftsmen, stuff like that. I want to see what the what the Canary homeland's like. I want to see the you know, I see all of these places. And they will probably go to them eventually in some way, shape or form. But it's difficult to say what if they'll do it in Dragon Age three or they'll just put more DLC into Dragon Age Two. I would like in Dragon Age 3 if you could explore the whole of the world, but that would be a, quite a big task. So the main places, if I had to pick one place I want to see in Dragon Age 3, it's Orly. I want to go to Orly and explore it. I want to see Lily, why Liliana describes it in such ways and shapes and forms. I want to see that. I want to feel that. I want to be... I want to literally go to all lays when, and for the first time and literally be like, oh. I want to be like that, because that I really would love to see all lays. It's one of the places in Dragon Age that I really would like to see. And Tiva, I would also like to see that, but I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll probably put that in fairly short. I would love to see all of these places. A lot of these places, you're literally like you want to go and see. You want to see how the other side lives, if you will. So. I've rambled on for quite some time, and I don't know what else I could say for Dragon Age, Dragon Age 3. It's tough to say what is going to be in Dragon Age 3. Um, there's one thing I would like to say, I want a whole new character for Dragon Age 3, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, because Dragon Age Origins had a new character, Dragon Age 2 had Hawk. Dragon Age 3, I want them to bring back the character creation from Dragon Age Origins, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. I want to be able to be an elf. Uh, a dwarf, a human. I want those things. I, no, fair enough if they don't do like the origin stuff. They don't need to bring back like the multiple origin story. They could have like just one preset origin story for each race or each class in my opinion. I wouldn't mind that personally, but I really would like to have a wider variety. I really did miss that in Dragon Age 2. The fact that I couldn't actually see, be an elf or be a dwarf. Um, I did miss that, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. But, that's just me. So hopefully in Dragon Age 3 we do get a proper, proper character customization. So, let me know what the clan thinks. Do you want to see uh, what you want for Dragon Age 3, or even what you want for Dragon Age 2 DLC? Let me know what the clan wants. Um, this is just what I think, and what I would like to see. Um, so, as always, I'm Scottish Warning 2, and I look, look forward to the rest of this week, for the rest of these 7 days, 7 videos. And as always, put your suggestions down below, and I'll see you all later. Ciao for now.